Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here, and uh, I'm going to be taking you through uh, two very important exponent laws today. And I might, some people might argue that they are the most important exponent laws, and they are the exponent laws of what happens when you multiply powers and when you divide powers. Okay, so the first uh, we're going to go through is multiplying powers. Of course, the exponent laws only work, guys. This is this is another very important point. Is if you have the same base. If you don't have the same base, then there's not really a whole lot we can do. But we'll talk with them when that happens. Okay, I'll give you guys an example. All right, so um, to explain the rule of multiplying powers, let's write out this as repeated multiplication. Okay, so 2 times 2, that means, or 2 exponent 2, that's 2 times 2. Okay, so 2 times 2. So that's my first part. Now, the second part here is my 2 to the 3, so that's 2 times 2 times 2. So, I, in fact, I have 3 2s of this one and 2 2s of that one. So, that actually makes 5 2s. So, what I, how I could have wrote this instead was my base 2, and I have 5 of these, so it would be 2 to the 5. Okay, so 2 exponent 5. So, if you see what I have, I had an exponent. I had an exponent. 2 and an exponent 3, and basically all I did was add them together. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and I got this new exponent. So that's all the first law is, is that when we're multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponents. Okay, so when you're multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponents together. So 2 the 2 times 2 to the 3 becomes 2 to the 5. All right, so let's have a look at a couple of examples. So I have uh, 4 to the 10 times 4 to the 6. So all I want to do is to get this as a single power, so I go, I add my exponents. So 10 plus 6 is 4 to the 16. So I'm multiplying powers at the same base, so I'm adding the exponents. All right, so I got 3 to the 2 times 4 to the 1. But these are not the same bases. So there's nothing I can do with this. Okay, not a thing, really, in terms of using the exponent law. Well, I can go um, 3 to the 2 is 9, and 4 to the 1 is just 4. That looks like a plus sign. And that's 4, so 9 times 4 is 36. So I can do that, but what I certainly cannot do is add the exponents 2 times 2 plus 1 is 3, and then multiply this and get 12 to the 3. It's a common mistake. Remember, our exponent laws only work for same basis. Okay, so that's our multiplying law. Multiplying powers, we add exponents. Okay, dividing powers to the same base. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's write this out as repeated multiplication. Let me get a, a line here. Make it look halfway neat anyway. So I got 2 to the 4, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then I have 2 to the 2. So that's 2 times 2. So what we notice here is I have a 2 on top and a 2 on bottom, so those can cancel. Maybe I'll get a different color here. These can cancel, these can cancel, these can cancel, these can cancel. So what I'm left with is 2 to the 2, which is just the same as 2 exponent 2. Okay? So if you look back at my original expression here, um, what we could have done was subtracted the exponents. So when I'm dividing powers, the same base, I can subtract exponents. Okay, so I end up with 2 to the 2. So let's see that in a couple of examples. So I got 6 to the 10 divided by 6 to the 9. So 10 subtract 9. That's going to be 6 to the 1. Okay, this is certainly a lot easier than saying what's 6 to the 10? That's going to be a ginormous number. And then what's 6 to the 9? Also going to be a very large number. 
and then dividing those two numbers. Instead, we use our exponent last first, then simplify, and we get a really simple answer. Um, same with this. So we get 4 to the 8 divided by 4 to the 3. So that's 8 subtract 3. So that becomes 4 to the 5. All right, so remember, dividing, we subtract. Multiplying, we add the exponents. And it only works for the same base. I hope this was clear, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Check out more videos on my website. See you in class, guys.